What's up, everyone? Mike here, and this is my normal wheelchair. I use it all the time, except for when it's low on low battery. I have this one when that happens. Um, I use it all the time. I go to school um, to work on this. Um, you know, everyday things. And sometimes, well, when it comes to me, I'm a prepper. I'm a, um, I like to be prepared and every, every year around this time, I am, um, I prepare for winter because winter is a bit and I don't like to be cold, so, um, what do I have on my wheelchair now for winter? I have a glass breaker that I just bought. I bought one for my girlfriend, too, so she have one in her car. A little seatbelt cover. And I have this on the, on the zip tie. I know you can't see that, but I have it on the zip tie. And it's always on my side when I'm on wherever I am. I have my keys, I have a little flashlight, a little knife, a little multi-tool, um, so that, <laughs> I don't really use this because I already have a flashlight, which I'm about to show you, but, um, this is just like, oh. I forgot my knife. Oh, I got one. Or if I got a cut, a zip tie, I grab my multi-tool. I usually have one on me anyway, so. That, um, that's the left side of it. I left handed, so. I'm going to have every, most, mostly everything on the lap, as you will see. Um, I'm going to get my flashlight. I may not be able to get that right now. <laughs> Wait. So, I can just fucking move it. Um. I have a, a medium size mag light. I put the tape on, the reflecting tape, because I'm always dropping it. So if I need to find it, I'll be able to. 
and it works. I use it all the time. And I got a clip on to my wheelchair with zip eyes. And you can find that holster for the flashlight at Harbor Freak. I get all my shit, mostly all my shit, from Harbor Freak. So, bring, bring this back a little. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what my dad talking about, I'm a wonderful driver, um, so, right here, I have a tourniquet, which I know how to use, um, I put this on, I bought a tourniquet, I bought three of them. Um, I bought it because nowadays the fucking assholes with active shooters and everything, car crashes, um, it could be anything. I want to be in a situation where I can at least provide a little more help or help in just a little bit, as much as I can. So, I have a tourniquet that clipped onto the carabiner. And I usually have it tucked away like that. And I need a new carabiner button. <laughs> but yeah, that's a tourniquet. Um, so if you want to have a tourniquet, Maybe. Um, I don't wish I have to use that. I hope I never have to use that. So, but if I do, I have it. Um, going. In the back, I have, I have my main bag, and I have a side bag, which is a Max Edition Fat Boy. And this is all tools, I have pliers. Wrenches. And I'm able to get this, all of these from, from staying there. If I reach over and it will, I'm able to get it. And I have way more in here. I have another multi-tool. I have screwdrivers. Um, I have a, I think I have a ladder, a little piece of ladder, so if my um, knife gets Dull, I can just drop it up. Everyone knows I love sharpening, so tools are must. 
in my opinion. I love tools. I can't get enough of them. Yeah, every, everyone should have tools. Even if you're not able to work them, you are able to get someone that is able to, you know, help you in that situation. Um, in the back, not really much. Um, in the bag, I have a big mag light, a lantern, uh, a medical, a first aid kit. Um, I have another jacket in there. I have gloves. Um, and when it comes to, um, To uh, winter, you always should have. A hot hands. Um, these are good. I love these. They come in handy. Um, you could use it for your feet too, but um, these are specifically for your hands. These came in handy for me a bunch of time. And some people, some people, um, you know, have these bags and they're just filled with stuff, and I get that, but I tell you, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot of help when you need something and you do have it, or when you with someone and they don't have it. But you do. So you mostly, I say, 80% of this stuff is for me, or 90 around there. And the other stuff is for other people if they. If they need it. And um. The one thing that. I want to add. To this. Is. A wool blanket. Now I have a big bag. That's real good for me. To add this in. But everyone should have this in their car. Um, you never know. You could be cold or you could be in this situation where your car breaks down and you have something that will cover you or your loved ones. Unfortunately, I didn't have this until now. And the other day, my bus, I take the bus um, to, to college and, and back. And when they got to my house, the bus driver saw there was a screw 
in the tire. So I said, like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to just stay home. The other bus that was supposed to help them didn't come until an hour later. And there was, there was two other people in wheelchairs. And there was another woman on there, too. It differed on certain days. It, I, I can go on about my bus. <laughs> there was other people on the bus, and two were, on, two were in the wheelchair. And I could only imagine, like, what would happen to them if the whole bus, like, broke down. Didn't have heat. It was pretty cold that day, too. Didn't have heat. Didn't have nothing. I wanted to be able to help, just like the tourniquet. Every little bit of help that you can provide, provide, why not? This will be a, a lightsaber one day, maybe. I just, I want to be there for other people in need. Um, that's just my nature. I'm always like that. Um, so yeah, that's about. Ooh, that's about it for my bag. Um. I usually keep a little pocket knife in there too. Um, let me know if you can cut up a box or anything. Um, that's about it. The only other thing that I want to talk about is um. My wheelchair makes a lot of noise sometimes, and I um I I found a trick. I use three in one oil. This is a real good oil for my knives for anything that I got lubricate. Um. I knew that was gonna happen. Um, anything I got lubricate on this. I did the foot pads to make it easier to swing back and forth. I do the tires, both of them, get it into the into the wheel bearings and. I do the joystick because they come out too. So I put a little bit of oil. I play with it a little bit. And it seems to work amazing. The only thing is, the one kind of smells. So you want to be a little dab of the year. Would do good. So. Trust me on that. So yeah, that's our prep for winter. Most of the stuff can be used by multiple people. I suggest everyone have a, a bag or something that you can put stuff in, put food in, and you know, you may never need it, but that one chance that you do need it, you do have it. So it makes, it's a life-changing, life-saver 
um, when stuff like that happens, so, um, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, any, you know, anything, leave it down in the comments, and, um, if you do something like this, I like to hear about it, so, leave it in the comments, and, uh, yeah, that's about it, and being prepared is everything, and I'm fully prepared now, so I love all of you, and like I always say, never give up, never surrender, and get loyalty and respect to everyone, especially your beautiful self. Thank you for watching.